Oh boy. Buzz is gonna kill me when he finds out I spent a hundred dollars of his money on this blonder tongue picture. I need to call and try to get my money back. Well, she is kind of cute. What's this here? A phone number. I'm gonna call this number. Just put it on speaker here. Sucker City Auctions, may I help you? Hello? I want to file a complaint. I ordered a blonder tongue, and all I got was a picture of a blonde with her tongue sticking out. That's funny. <laughs> you sound real cute. <gasps> Are you single? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Can I have your name, please? My name is... Dickle F. Lockett. <laughs> How do you spell it? Spell it? It's A-F-F Lockett with two T's and one E. F Lockett? Are you related to that bum hack bar F Lockett? Hack bar? No, what? No, I don't know him. How about Dorkel F Lockett? No! No, I don't know Dorko F. Lockett. You're lying, Dickle. No! Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm not lying. No! Your nose is growing, Dickle. I'm telling the truth. The last time I saw Hackbar, I had to kick him in the nuts. You F. Lockets are weirdos. Goodbye, Dickle. Oh, crap. I need a cigar. Wow, what the hell? Buzz, my nose is on fire. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello, Buzz. This is part three of my RCA series. Hell yeah. You're probably wondering, uh, what's going on here? Well, if you watched last uh, week's episode, you noticed that I was having... Higher B plus than usual. What's going on here? Uh, this meter here is connected to uh, the B plus, right, coming right out of the rectifier. It's supposed to be 345 and it's 379. Holy cow! I've also got my little mini. Oh, it's cute. Radio Shack meter I've had for years. It's connected up to the plate of the 6V6 tube. This is supposed to be 250 volts. And right now, it's that 324, 3, 325. So that's, uh... And what's that? That's quite a ways off. That's like 75 volts out. His IQ is 75. I've got my Variac set for 110 volts, so it's not even full power. If I were to put that up to like 122, the way it's coming out of the, uh, the wall... Yes. And this stuff's gonna go over 400, and that'll probably go up to 350. Oh my god! Now they specify that this, uh, huh? radio draws 75, uh, what? watts. Okay. So I, I calculated it. 75 watts would be closer to 0. 0.6. And so it's drawing less current. Huh? And I haven't got a brain. It got higher voltage, so... Only straw. Uh, I'm suspecting maybe a weak tube is causing that. But I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, old 64 Goat said, uh... Hello there! If I put a new rectifier tube in there... What did he say? Uh, this, this voltage is going to actually go higher. <laughs> but then he said, if you put in a, a new 6F6 which is what it's supposed to be in here, instead of the 6V6, it's possible that it's going to drop the voltage down. <laughs> so I'm hoping uh, either way that uh, I get this down a little bit. And probably if this goes down, you, you'll probably see this go up. Let's get it back over here so you can see it. Right now it's a little past 0. 0.4. This, is, this marks 0. 0.5. So, let's see what happens. 
Uh, the radio's been warmed up. Got some game on there. Anyway, I got my uh, tubes in from uh, from uh, Bob Dobish. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. He, uh, I mentioned him earlier in one of my videos. Anyway, he sent me some new tubes. He sent me uh, this Kenrad tube. The box for this one said ages 8 to 14. Uh, this is a uh, brand new 6F6, and I got the G type, which is like this Coke bottle, which is really beautiful. I love these. What do you say? Will you marry me? So I've got that. I love you too. Uh, he also sent me. You mean there's more than one? This nice Sylvania tube here. Oh, ba 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 boom! I can never figure out how these come out of the box here. <laughs> you big dummy! You have to be a genius to get them out of here. Oh, brother! This is a 5Y3, and I got this in the G style too, so. Oh, nothing but the best! That's gonna look cute in there. You're cute. Come here. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put this one in there first, just for kicks, okay? We're going to uh, write down. Good idea. These voltages. I'm gonna have uh, three seventy-eight and three twenty-four. Okay. Let's turn the radio off. Oops, wrong way. Off. Now what? And your style is unorthodox. Bring this down. I see your talents have gone beyond the mere physical level. Thing is warm. Actually, it's hot. <laughs> we'll put that rectifier in here. And I tested both of these tubes. They just... They test excellent. Your skills are now at the point of spiritual insight. Let me get this back up here. Here we go, folks. Cut these taped off so I won't... I like to keep myself on camera. That would be a bad thing. Nobody wants to see old Buzz die on camera, do you? Wanna bet? But I specified to my family if, if I should get electrocuted while doing the video, I want you to uh, put it in there and leave it and post it. Because the people must see what's going on here. My, my, my. Fire it up, Dad! Let's turn it on. There's excitement in the air, ladies and gentlemen. What you got in here, fella? Ticking like a bomb. This one started beeping and it had an OL on it. I don't know what that means. What is going on here? I demand an explanation. Do you hear it? It's a funny squeaky sound. It has been a big day offensively. Okay. Let's warm it up here. Now let's compare what we had before. Uh, uh, before we had 378 coming out of the rectifier. It went down Looks like eight volts. All right, you've been sober for eight days. We had 324 on the plate. Press your thumb to the plate. And it's down to 311. Okay, okay, that's better. What's the verdict? There you can see that a bit better. You've got to convince me that you know what this is all about, that you aren't just fiddling around, hoping it'll all come out right in the end. So, uh... Huh? That's good. Awesome. So the rectifier... You shouldn't use that word. Put the new rectifier and actually lowered it a little bit. Just a tiny bit. This still went down a little bit more. Now it's down to 305. Is you uh-hooing good or uh-hooing bad? 366. The amps... I think the amp went up... Uh, like one notch. And alert the media. So that makes sense. The uh, the amps go up while the voltage drops. 
I think that's the way it works. But now I think I can safely say that your time and money have been well spent. Look, now that we dropped a little bit more, now it's 303. Ooh, ah. And this is supposed to be 345, so this is only 20, 20 volts over. Lays it on a bit thick, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the, uh, the 6F6. A vision of loveliness. Oh, it's just gorgeous. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's turn this off. Now, instead of tipping the thing over and messing everything up again, I'm just going to pull it out, but... That tube is really hot. I'm, I'll burn myself if I, uh... Why, what is it hot? It doesn't sizzle when I do that, but, uh... Now, cut that out. You can see... It evaporates very fast, so... Let's get this in here. Hold on tight. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Let's go and turn it on. And uh, I think this, these things are exciting when you experiment. I think so. <laughs> Lucky, I'm so excited. Do you hear me? We've got to risk a full power start. I guess that means over limit or something. Yep. As it goes down, it comes back up. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Oh, what have we here? You've got this it's going down to 339. And that's supposed to be 345, so that's still about right on here. This is supposed to be 251. You got 259. And look what happened to the amps. It's now went up like two or three notches and it's now a half an amp holy mackerel Andy. and plus two notches over you're a pretty smart fella aren't you i think maybe i figured this out success 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 we'll just leave it uh cook a little bit more wow you're a really good cook no i don't like to cook and i was really worried about that that one one what? That one tube there because what I do with it? This six v six tube. Throw it out! Uh, it tested uh, weak in the uh, in my tester. You darn tootin'. Because uh, if that was over three hundred, I think the limit on it was. 325 or something so I was pushing it on this one you're really pushing it okay this is went up to about 340 which is still 5 volts under this is about 9 volts over but uh, I think that's well within Few people realize what tremendous power there is in one of those things. Don't speak. For some moments in life, there are no words. I think uh, this, we can call this a success. Oh my god. I'm very, very surprised. Why? I guess what I can do. Let's take a look at, uh... Oh, now what? The other side of the, uh... The other side of what? The field coil. Okay. Which should be lower than, uh, where I had it. Why does everyone insist that I'm confused? Okay, we're getting 270 there. I think that's, uh... That looks good. Also... Would you mind filling me in here? I'm a little confused. I should be getting 91 volts 91? on the signal. What? That's the signal grid. Which is pin uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All the way up to 6. 
down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six foot one, I'd say, sir. Should be 91. Very funny, 91. We got a hundred. That looks, that looks good. Thank you, radio. Also. How can you trust a man that wears both a belt and suspenders? Also on the signal grid of the output tube, which is... Where is it? One pin down. Shut up! Get down! 269. And it should be 265. Glory be! Ah! Boom! Scares me. All right, Precious, you better hit the hay and get a good night's rest. You sound all in. I think, uh... What do you think of it? I think it's great. I think we proved something here today. What is it? Okay, still holding around the... 257, just seven volts more. And that's... that's great. Okay. Okay, we're stable. My work here is done. Needed elsewhere now. Oh, just another thing here. Uh, oh, good grief. I told you this was 110. We're, let's just check this up here and see exactly what we're getting there as far as uh, the input voltage. And maybe uh, this is not really accurate. Oh, don't be in a hurry, boys. Everything can be explained. I'll bet. Okay, that measures about 113. That's about what I want. 113 to 115. In fact, I may uh, get a... Uh, get out of the belly place before it blows up. A voltage dropping resistor, power resistor, <laughs> that gets it down to about 110. That's swell. Let's put it down to 110. Okie dokie. Okay, as we see now, it's, it's 110. But it's now 110. Let's get to the point. Now let's look back up here. See what we get. Oh, come on. No, I don't be a sap. Of course, we got to put this over here. What are you doing? So we get 330, and actually it brought it down huh? more. No kidding. This is supposed to be 345. Excellent, sir, excellent. But this here, it brought it down to under 250. Look at that. What was that? Can you see that? Yes. Remember, that's the plate yes. voltage on the uh, 6F6 tube. Yes. It's supposed to be 251, 247, 330. So I, I figure I can uh, any anywhere between 110 yes. to 115, we'll, we're in pretty good shape. That's right. That is cool. Ah, uh, horse fetish. Well, you're looking at the 6U5 Magic Eye tube. That cryo tube is ancient. That's the original one that's in there. Now, this is the only tube that hasn't been replaced. Let's just turn it up here. How about some coffee? Put the pot on, will you, Angel? I don't like to leave our guests. Surely. I, I ordered, uh, ordered one of those from Bob, too. So I'm going to replace it now and we'll see what we get here. Okay. Let's do that. Let's just get it on here. Now you've seen what the uh, original looks like. We'll see if we get anything better from the tube he sent me. Yes, I killed him. I killed him for money. And for a woman. I didn't get the money and I didn't get the woman. Let's turn it around here. Oh, that sounds all right. I think that's supposed to be pointed down there, isn't it? Look into my eye. Deeper, deeper. Is there the haunting of our... <laughs> Are you scared, Marv? Are you afraid? It looks so bright, uh, you can't really see the green in there. I don't think. But it's green. Will you listen to me? I've got to tell it to someone, and, well, I guess you've heard a lot of strange stories. Doing that, Mark. Oh, you'll get used to it, Kathy. Oh, but cutting your own name. 
looks like that's going in there. I bought a Magic Guy 2 about a year ago. But it's a 6E5. It's one of these uh, ones that were made in Japan. And, uh, what? What? Spit it out. I thought I'd better buy one because one of these days I was going to get a radio with the eye tube and uh, sure enough I did here but they say this is, doesn't work exactly the same as the uh, 6U5 well, we're going to put it in there and we'll see what it looks like you got all night according to what I read it uh, you can't even read it, it closes the uh, the loop or the uh, hurry it up closes the eye Dead Nettie, I'm trying to sleep. It sometimes overlaps, but uh, let's see what happens. Now give me all of it fast. Oh, look at the sun. I can't see. I can't see. Holy hole in a donut. Look at that. It's too bright. You can't even see that, can you? It's so bright. <laughs> Look at that. I That's better. Had to turn the uh, the gain on the uh, brightness all the way down. See how it closes all the way? Okay, well that's my demonstration on those magic eye tubes. Have you seen the man with the green eye? Um, oh green! Yes, green! The one green eye!